Universe is governed by many laws and everything in existence follows them. Keeping this concept in mind, in 18th century, when the medical field was in a chaotic condition, Dr. Samuel Henman, a German physician, introduced homeopathy, a medical science far ahead of its time. Dr. Henman is one of those brilliant minds who dare to be wise in spite of tremendous resistance. On 10th of April, 1755, Schemmel was born in Saxony, town of Meissen, in southwest Germany. Christian Friedrich Schemmel Henman was third child of Gottfried Henman and Johanna Christiana. Because of the poor status of the family, Henman's father could not provide good education and young Schemmel Henman completed his early studies from Prince School. At the age of 20, Henman entered Leipzig University to complete his medical studies and also became master of about a dozen languages. Henman received his master's degree in 1779 from Erlangen University. During this period, he translated four books from German to English. He was a bright student from early days. Dr. Henman started his practice from a headstead town, but as he was not happy, with the existing system of medicine. Later, he turned his interest to chemistry and started translating original medical works to German. One day, while translating a book, Treatise on Materia Medica, of Dr. William Cullen, he was unsatisfied with the explanation of curative effects of synchrona bark for the intermittent fever, and he decided to experiment on himself and he observed the symptoms of intermittent fever on himself. At this moment, Dr. Henman was not aware that he was setting a new trend of human drug proving for the first time in medical history and he is going to become the father of human functional pathology. After more and more experiments, Dr. Henman came to conclusion that a medicine can cure diseases which can produce similar symptoms in the healthy individuals. In more simpler words, like cures like. After a series of experiments, Henman published first essay on homeopathy, an essay on a new principle for asserting the curative powers of drugs and some examinations of previous principles. With this, the new era of medical treatment started. The most remarkable gifts of Dr. Samuel Henman to the homeopathy is Materia Medica Pura, an organon of medicine books. Dr. Henman's first wife was Johanna Leopoldin Henrietta Kuchler, who was his companion for more than 30 years till she died. And second wife was Maria Malina, who supported Dr. Henman to get all the recognition he deserved. Maria was suffering from tuberculosis. Doctors had said that this disease has no cure and she won't survive. At that moment, she was very upset and at last she met Dr. Henman. After some months, she was cured. Later on, Maria proposed Dr. Henman to get married. Dr. Henman took his last breath at the age of 86 years in 1843. He wished to inscribe that, I have not lived in vain. If anyone sees the life of Dr. Samuel Henman, the father of homeopathy, one can imagine that it was not easy to stand out of every odds. In spite of the great opposition, he was the last person to surrender. He wanted to show that he was not afraid. Dr. Henman wanted the physicians to be bold, to be courageous. Even they may have to pay their beloved life just in order to save millions of lives. Such has been the lesson of history. One can see the lives of Socrates, Galileo, Paracelsus and many others. Dr. Henman gave his entire life to not just give curative treatment to the individual with holistic approach but to cure the society. Even in recent times of COVID-19 pandemic situation, the world is going through a drastic change. Many have witnessed a need of strong, ethical and humanitarian values in medical system. But what remains same and universally applicable are the words of Dr. Samuel Henman in Organon of Medicine. A good example of this inspiration and the protection of humanity can be seen in the Antarparti Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital, Nagpur. Situated in central India, 
better known as Shanti Niketan of Homeopathy. This institution is highly inspired from the teachings of Dr. Samuel Henman. This institute has gifted the world with numerous truly phenomenal physicians. The person behind the idea of this prestigious institute is Maharishi Bhau Sahib Dr. M.G. Zite, the founder director of AHMC. The reflection of how an ideal physician must be is seen in the life of Dr. Zite Bhau. He was born in a small town of Panchgavan near Vartha in central India. From a struggling boy to get bread and butter for the family to becoming a compounder then a student and then a teacher of homeopathy in the same institute and later to start a college and hospital to provide education and treatment of homeopathy to even poor rural people who cannot afford. His life journey is truly inspirational. Today, he is considered one of the most respected, prominent physician and social activist of India. This becomes the reason people call him Pau, meaning their brother. He has given a huge contribution to the field of homeopathy. Dr. Samuel Henman always believed in the influence of psychological, social factors in the development of disease. He remained the first person to cure mental diseases without corporeal punishments. With the unique approach of clinical classification of diseases, unprejudiced case taking, and finally, single, simple, yet similar prescription, he developed homeopathy into an idealistic system of curing. Now, Dr. Samuel Henman's contribution to the medical system, the homeopathy has been accepted worldwide. Walking on the footsteps of him, there has been many notable physicians and scientists giving their contributions for the betterment of this world.